and welcome to the video. In this one, I will explain to you all the monsters in Rainbow Friends and how to beat them. So let's get started. Firstly is Blue. In both chapters it will spawn in Night 1 and it's just the generic see you, chase you. You can easily lose it by going around a few corners or hiding in a box around a corner. As long as you don't hop in the box two feet away from it, you should be fine. Next is green. Green, in chapter 1, it spawns in night 2, and in chapter 2, it spawns in night 1. So, green is blind, and is also deaf, apparently. So, you really just don't have to worry about it. It's just a wall that kills you if you touch it, basically. You can't go through it with a box either, which is unfortunate. So, just... Look f look out for where it is and try and stay away. Next is orange. It only really appears in chapter 1 because in chapter 2 it's just there for a little segment that isn't really its own gameplay. Basically, it, if you don't feed it, it will go running around in a path that is very politely indicated for you. And if you are seen by it, while not having a box on, it'll run after you and kill you. But if you do manage to get your box on before it reaches you, it slows down, uh, gets absolutely flabbergasted and leaves you alone. Next is purple. In chapter one, it hides in vents at night three, as well as orange, so that also is in night three, forgot to mention. But purple spawns in night three and will hide in the vents. So, to get around purple, you have to go through the areas that aren't really painted. And if you do, it w will leave you. If you do step in the painted bit, which you will understand, uh, you will be grabbed into the vents and deal with the fate worse than death. In chapter 2, it spawns in night 1, but it's only in this little segment area. Uh, which is like pink some no purple some board or something now in purple some board there's a river section that's kind of like a maze and it's just a little hand monster that chases after you not much to say for it let's move on the final one that um appears in chapter one is red it's not really a monster but red is kind of the the mastermind of it all, if you want to call it that. Uh, basically, it's just there for the law and like, okay, we do this. Oh, damn, they got away. My blocks fell over. Go find them. And I still have to mention the blocks did not fall over if they got scattered around the entire map. So nothing really to say about how to beat them in any of the chapters. So let's move on. We have yellow. Now, it only spawns in chapter 2, same with the next one, so I won't mention it in each chapter. So yellow is this bird kind of thing that when it sees you, it runs after you at the same speed as blue. And uh, when it catches you, by the way, you can lose it with the box. It's basically just blue, but with a mechanic instead. When you get caught, instead of it killing you, it will take you, so it abducts you, flies away with you, and then takes you to a rock where it will then kill you. What you have to do is you have to jump down to somewhere safe. Yeah. So it, it is kind of stressful when you do get caught. I've never been caught myself, so I don't know what it's like. But good luck if you do get caught. And the final one is cyan slash teal slash light blue slash whatever you want to call it. So this one be looking like a dinosaur of how to train your dragon or whatever. And basically, it's blue once more. But get this right, when you hide in a box, when you move in the box, it will still know you're there. So basically, it has brain cells. Not too many, but it's got some. 
And that is how to be every monster in both chapter one and chapter two of Rainbow Friends. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned how to beat them. And good luck on your run, or if you just want to watch them. That's fine too. Goodbye.